love God above everything else is an acknowledgement of, okay, I accept God as a reality, right? How can I love God if I am an atheist? Then I don't love God. Like, then God has no meaning for me. There is no reality to it. So if I accept that God is real and more real than anything we can find in this world, because, first of all, everything is perishable. I was born and this physical appearance will eventually expire. Everything we see here on this level of reality will eventually expire. We're sitting on a railroad track that is perhaps a hundred years old well slowly but steadily it is being reabsorbed into its environment come back a few thousand or a few million years later and you will find absolutely no evidence of this railroad tracks whatsoever everything in this world is perishable. God is infinite and eternal. Therefore, whatever this is cannot be ultimate reality. And as absolutely hooey and esoteric as this sounds, science is catching up with the illusion that we are living in. When you go into matter, matter, right? That matters, that is solid, that is real. We can touch it, we can feel it. When we go in on a microscopic level, we will find that there is nothing solid there. There's nothing there. When you go into the atoms and try to find the smallest particle, right? Something must be real in this. Well, you can dive in to matter and you will only ever find more empty space. There is empty space and some interference patterns that give rise to this entire experience that we take for granted and that we take as real. When even scientists already agree that there's really nothing there and matter, whatever that is, <laughs> Is it energy? Is it movement? Is it a particle? What is it? What is it? Uh, scientists have no idea. It's an interference pattern. And it responds to thought. It responds to the mind. And if you think that something is real, Hallelujah, it is real. That is the power of our mind, scientifically proven. And I will hang a link or put an end screen into this video so that you can explore some of these ideas yourself. There's nothing there. Just a bunch of empty space that we with our mind, give meaning to. And that is the first lesson. <laughs> a Course in Miracles has a workbook for students with 365 lessons. And the first lesson
Nothing I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, means anything. And in the second lesson, I have given everything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, all the meaning that it has for me. And that goes for one another as well. I have given everything I see in you, all the meaning that it has for me. And if I see you as an enemy, then I choose that perspective. Then I make you an enemy. Not because you are an enemy, because I choose to see you as such. And when I choose to see you as such, then I am going to give meaning to everything you do or not do through the lens of you are my enemy.